Guys, I was looking through the Disney Heroes Battle Mode forums and I just saw the greatest idea for a future character. So I want to kind of continue that kind of leaked characters thing I was doing and just drop this guy down because this is just such a phenomenal idea. Um, this is this is posted by Mickey1324342 and I just saw this and thought, actually, I want to make a video on this because this is such a cool thing and the way he's made this post, I thought I'd bring a bit of attention to this guy because I thought it was really cool. So he's saying that, because I was looking, I was thinking, okay, who would be a good character in Disney Heroes? So guys, what I want you to do to help me with this series is comment down below characters you want and all of their moves. So basically you'll be doing all the work for me. <laughs> I'm joking. I just want you guys to comment down below so then I can pick your characters up and maybe try and draw them and make silly animations and try and make them like Disney heroes characters is kind of what I want to do. So guys, if you, so I, I'll, I'll, I'll do it for, um, oh, I'll leave that for now. I don't want to install anything. So I'll do it for you all now where I'm going to be taking Clayton and trying to turn him into a Disney heroes character. So one of the best ways to do this, I think, is. So this is the series I want to do guys. So I want you to comment down below the heroes that you want to see in this game and their skills. You don't have to worry about a red skill, but just something along those lines guys. So what we're going to do today is take a look at the leaked character Clayton. So what we've got here is um, someone's obviously already put down a lot of predictions, a lot of ideas for this. Um, so I'm quite intrigued to see what we uh, what where we're going to go with this, and um, yeah. So basically, I'm excited to see what this new series can hold. I might do one of these every three days or something. I just want you guys to comment down below your ideas. So um, I'm going to start this with Clayton and kind of show you what I want to be doing um, with your um, characters. And it's just a bit of a silly idea, guys. But, you know, I like to incorporate all of you in these videos. So let's get right into this, guys. Let's just do um, create a new one. And we're going to go straight in. Um, I've got the brand new version of Illustrator now. So you'll be able to see even more stupid things that I make. Um, Why wow, you gotta go and put me down like that. So um, I just... Just give me a normal thing. So this this is the way I'm going to... This is the way. This is the way I'm going to be doing this. Um, so what I'm going to do is drag this in. So then I've got an idea of what the characters look like. And how I should be drawing Clayton. So let's move that over for now. Cool. So let's leave that for now. And I'll come back to that. Um, there we go. So let's actually take a look at the um, character today. So we're, we're saying Clayton here, which I think is quite exciting. So we've got uh, his name's Clayton, he's three stars, and they're saying a front row control, which I think would work really well. So his basic attack is with his knife, which makes sense because that's what he uses quite a lot in the Tarzan films. Then he's got white skill. After Clayton walks ahead, uh, smoking a cigarette, he heals himself and gets a basic damage buff, attack and move speed buffs for 10 seconds. During this time, he is immune to all debuffs. So it basically becomes a giant control hero where he's just not going to take any L's from anything. He is going to stay powerful and absolutely rinse everybody down. Then we go down to his green skill. He shoots a shotgun three times to the three front enemies. Like you see here, he's got a shotgun, he uses it a lot in Tarzan, knocking them back and dealing damage. What I'd like to add to that is when you knock them back they hit other people when they get hit back like that they, they're gonna take bare damage and bear elves and just knock everyone back and do more damage then we've got blue skill which i think this is an incredible adaptation i wouldn't have thought of this one clayton throws a net to the enemy who has the highest basic damage stunning them for seven seconds so i'd like to increase that stun to about 10 and then you can actually have a net you can actually see the net like you can see the net just crushing them down and absolutely rinsing all the health off. And obviously you'd have a friendship with Gaston and Tarzan. And I think that would be amazing. <laughs> ah, okay, it should be a concept. How does smoking a cigarette heal smoking kills? 
it's a game. It's a game. Come on, it's a game. It's a game. Right, so I really like... I really like the idea of um, placing in the game. I think that's phenomenal. So guys, comment down below who you think should be in the game. So I'm going to grab this um, Clayton image and I'm going to move into doing the first kind of leaked... <laughs> this is going to be so bad. So there's Clayton and I need to basically convert him into that art style. So to start off with, he's got a nice... Defined jaw, um, I could say. So, God. <laughs> so, um, let's use the slightly darker uh, gray color to do the outline. So, let's get a brush. So, <laughs> so. Uh, I reckon if I did something like that for his... Oh my god, what on earth is that? Okay, let, let's um revisit this. So, I'm going to do a bit like that. And I'm going to bring that down. So he's got quite a nice jaw. And I'm going to bring that up. And then around. Yeah, I failed again. Right, you know what I'm going to do to make this even easier? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to trace his head. Because the head's the hardest part. Oh god, didn't mean to do that. Right, so now I'm gonna go down like that. So I'm basically doing the work for Per Blue. So if if you wanted to um hit me up with like, you know, maybe seven hundred seven thousand pounds in my PayPal just to make up for this, smileyjoshahotmail.com, hit me up. Right, so we've dr we've drawn his head, but that's all the assistant I'm assisting I'm gonna use. So now what we need to do is this is this is quite important, is that we go in and we get his eyes correct next. So actually no 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 no, no I'll take that back. Let's get his hair done. So his hair should just be kind of like that, I reckon. Just in inside of the actual drawing. I reckon we should have his head like that like that and we'll bring that down and then down like that and then we've got his hair done so i feel like that is quite an important like element so oh lordy now he's got a big boy nose like like a, the kind of nose that would that would ruin you if you saw it when you were trying to sleep so so we just we draw his nose like that, and then we'd also need to incorporate his eyes, which, which is which is always quite important. So then we'd get his um, eyes like that. Now nah, that, nah, yeah, 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 I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. As you know, as long as you guys are happy with this, so guys, you need to recommend me characters to draw to be in predictions. So then I reckon we could do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks sick. And we could go like that, and then we could get his mouth in. So he's he's got quite a cheeky mouth, if you know what I mean, because he's always trying to hunt down Tarzan, which is not fair, you know. You shouldn't. I need, I, I'm gonna attach my graphic tablet. So. So we'd put that on, and do you, do you see what I mean here? How accurate this is. So I reckon if we went down like that, we could go. Um, put his little tash on. So. <laughs> If you saw that, you'd you'd be scared, wouldn't you? And so now now it comes down to his neck. So his neck's quite big. It's basically to show he's a bad guy. He's quite strong. So I reckon if we did something like that, and you've got to do it in a few strokes like that. And um, I honestly don't know what I'm talking about, but I feel like that adds like you kind of know what you're doing. So we've got a few strokes now. Now we need to put on his um his kind of shirt, I'd say. So. We'd, we'd go down like that and we'd down like that and we'd accept it in the um, neck like that, right? That's going to be his collar. But we only want to do a little bit of shading on the collar so we can still see his neck. And now we've got his shirt. So now, oh, I'm going to have to make his arms up. So I reckon if we did something like that, that's quite realistic to me. So we'd have his arms like that. And obviously that would um, end the shirt off. And you can't forget the pocket. So, 
Oh, and he's got a little red like um, under undercoat thing on. So I reckon if we just put a little uh, a little kind of line there like that. Yeah, that's that's lovely. That's perfect. Cool. So I have to make his legs up, which is which is good because I'm quite an artist. So I I I I fully understand what his legs are going to look like. So we're going to go for the same color, and we're just going to go like that because that's what I reckon his legs will look like. <laughs> Cool. And then his hands as well. I reckon he'll have like gangly hands for some reason. Because he'll be trying to like take out um, uh, Tarzan all the time. So I reckon he's going to have quite gangly arms like that. Yeah. I actually think that looks quite realistic. You know, guys, you know stop me if, if, I, if you think I'm wrong. But um, yeah, I'm quite sure that's realistic. Cool. So I'll probably do one of these types of videos every week, guys. So... So that's cool. So now, now what I'm going to do to finish this off is um, grab him, move him up, and we love just a lovely bit of text at the bottom. I'm going to write Clay Clayton prediction like that. So everybody knows who he is. I'm going to get quite a nice, a nice font. I don't really like that font. So let's um, let's change the font up here. I mean, it somehow looks worse if I use an 8-bit font, but, um, you know, this is professional art, so I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, that, that'll do. That looks professional. Right, let's put that in there. So, we'll just so, I think that looks quite good, but what I haven't done is drawn his shotgun. So, I actually feel like, I feel quite rude that I didn't do that, guys. So, it's going to be brown. So, I'm just going to sort of put it in his hand. There we go, there's his shotgun. So you can see my prediction for Clayton here, guys. So let's get that saved and let's get this exported out. So um, I basically just wanted you all to see how fantastic I was at drawing, mainly. Um, export. Then I'm going to get that onto... Uh, now we need a white background. Lovely. So let's get that exported out. And now I can put that onto my um, uh, fan art, guys. And you're basically all going to be able to um, enjoy it. Take a look. And it's going to be a little tease for anyone who visits my fan art. Because I'm not going to tell anyone that I submitted that on there until you see this. So, um, Clay, Clay Ton Video. Like that. And I'm going to do Select File. And I'm going to go onto my desktop. And go onto Leak Characters Clayton. Bang post. And that's how you do that, guys, and get your fan art submitted on my site. It does take a while, guys, but yeah, because I've got I need to sort my site out a little bit up there a bit. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. I just want to have a bit of fun today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um smash that subscribe button. Guys, if you want to help an artist succeed, press that join button and just help me become an artist, guys. If a thousand of you all press that join button. I'd be able to buy some paintbrushes. I'll see you in the next one.